Alright, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you how and where to find the new gear and the new quest available in the next gen edition of The Witcher 3. Ok, first off, you have your Elven-inspired Dol Blathana armor and your, I suppose, Samurai-inspired White Tiger armor. They are both in a chest next to the wall of the room where you talk to Yennefer in Vizima. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? It's right over here. Technically, Yennefer has a letter for you describing the location, with the usual pinch of sarcasm. And along with these items, there is another letter inside from the Silly Goose, giving us some quick lore behind the armor and weapons. Naturally, they can only be looted after you complete the story in White Orchard. Both of these sets are medium armor, one of them requires level 7 and the other level 11. And as far as I can tell, similar to the Temerian and Nilfgaardian sets, they can't be upgraded and remain the way they are when you obtain them. This is unlike the Netflix armor, which is actually a proper Witcher set. You learn how to craft the basic version after completing the new quest, which starts at the Devil's Pit in Velen, not far from where you arrive actually, from the Hanged Man tree, and the quest is available at any point as soon as you reach Velen. You can check this video for more details about it. And then you have to go back to Kaer Morhen, climb a ladder in the main hall, and find the rest of the diagrams to upgrade the set. Yesterday somebody asked me if they can get the diagrams before doing the quest, but no, they can't be interacted with at an earlier point. So once you have them, they can go up to Mastercrafted and even Grandmaster versions, with level requirements similar to the other Witcher sets, and the set bonus unlocks only at Grandmaster level. So for that, you'll need to go to Blood and Wine. And again, like the rest of the armor sets, this one changes appearance at Grandmaster. Quite significantly, I might add, it turns from Season 1 into Season 2 armor. Now, overall, I like the looks of the low-level armor sets, especially the Elven one. They're both quite unique and well-made. And the Netflix Season 1 isn't bad either. It's possibly inspired by a Witcher 1 armor set, actually. Now, the Season 2... I'm not a big fan of it. It looks a little... like fake armor? Like armor made for a fantasy fair? I don't know. I think the swords are also a little awkward, especially the silver one. However, it must be said that the set bonus of Season 2 armor is not to be underestimated. In the spirit of the boss fight from the new quest, it causes your Ard to damage enemies affected by Irden. And the damage isn't too bad by the looks of it. What I'm showing you here is a build that basically has no sign skills active other than Ard Sweep. So my sign intensity can actually be a lot higher than this. And you can see that normally my Ard is not doing any damage. But when I use Irden first, suddenly my Ard starts taking big chunks of their health. So it is definitely something you should try out, especially when playing sign-oriented builds. With that, I believe I'm done. Good luck getting your new armor and make sure to let me know how you feel about each of these sets, which one is your favorite and why. And next, I plan on making a video about how the upgraded game looks and feels and performs and all that. So, until then, thank you for watching, stay tuned and be good.